name is Adam Rigo. I'm the CEO and co-founder co of the Wave VR. I'm Aaron Lemke. I'm the Chief Creative Officer and co-founder of the Wave VR. We're here celebrating our collaboration with HTC and Warner Brothers on this Ready Player One activation. Uh, we make a social VR platform um, that connects people from around the world to attend these virtual concerts and a virtual dance club. And working with uh, HTC, we recreated the venue from the film Ready Player One where uh, there's actually a virtual club scene in the movie. We got assets straight from the film and put them right into our project, integrated them, and I think we really nailed the look of the film. Uh, we'll, we'll put it up to you guys to decide. So in the book and in the film, uh, it's sort of this like dystopian society where people are using virtual reality to escape the current political climate. Um, they're sort of like, they will go into these VR arcades or like these VR stations to access the Oasis. Um, so they basically created uh, these uh, pods, which are reminiscent of the stacks from the film, with various VR headsets where people could actually go in and experience with this content. We were commissioned to create the dance club scene, and uh, downstairs we just had Ty Sheridan, the lead actor of the film, uh, do a hour-long VR DJ set where he used our virtual DJ interface to uh, play a, a concert in our virtual venue um, for the people that were jacked into these uh, VR pods and over 20 VR arcades around the country that were also participating. Yeah, they really did an incredible job uh, with this activation. I was here like two days ago and there's a wedding in this venue and now it's like being in Ready Player One. Yeah, so the technology involved in the wave is, is fairly complex. I mean, we basically have a performer who's in VR creating an audio-visual show that gets broadcast out to all of these other people in different physical locations. So, it's sort of like a virtual club in the cloud where people can actually meet up from around the world. So when you go in, you could meet somebody from California, New York, Shanghai, Tokyo, they're all in the same club socializing and uh, you can chat with other people. Like, you know, you have an avatar, uh, a digital representation. Um, you can paint in the air using like virtual glow sticks. Uh, you can sort of alter your audiovisual experience with different uh, power ups that you can find at the club. Yeah, and one of the big things about the dance scene in Ready Player One is the zero gravity element. And so we had created a way for people to fly around the venue. And it's, it's unlike anything that's ever been done in VR before. It's absolutely incredible. Yeah, yeah I mean, flying was a big part of the scene. Um, but when we were collaborating with Warner and Emblem, we came in and they actually showed us an early version of that scene. And after we saw it, we were really inspired by the look of the club. Um, some of the elements, like the, the disco floor, you could explain the yeah, if you watch the trailer, there's a moment where they, they throw down these these kind of Saturday night fever dance floors while they're floating in space. The Bee Gees staying alive is playing. The Bee Gees is playing. We love the Bee Gees. And so we've watched that, you know, second and a half of the trailer so many times to try and recreate this thing. And I, I think we did a pretty good job. So there's actually a item that you can find in the club if you go up to the virtual bar in the Ready Player One Wave experience, where you can grab it and detonate this toy that creates a sort of like disco floor underneath you. So you can fly into the air and actually create your own dance floor and then other people can fly over to you and have their own party. It's so much fun. It's a ton of fun.